the original singer. It was just a quick interview with the original singer of Shine Eye Girl, yes. Devon Lyon. Anyway, Devon, let's get into the story. What year would you say you started this? You, yeah. you sing this song? Um, it was on May 70, 78. About 78, you'd say? 78. Late 78. May. May 78. 78. Okay. Uh, in Kingston, I'm um, done by um, Channel One Studio. Yeah, go on, talk, I'll continue talking about Devon Lyon were born in um, Fort Anthony Hospital. Yeah. Devon Lyon um, grew up in Draper's community. Yeah. Devon Lyon leave the Draper's community, go to Kingston, migrate to Kingston. My mommy sent for me, sent my sister for me. Yeah. I came to Kingston now and we're living in um, Trenchtown. <coughs> Trenchtown. My, my brother named Dennis. Yeah. He was living there with us also. Yeah. We removed from Trenchtown you now to Delamere Avenue. Mm -hmm. After living at Delamere Avenue, I have an uncle named Shorty. He do construction work up by New Kingston. Mm -hmm. My brother Dennis go to New Kingston and working with Uncle Shorty. Mm -hmm. He told us my brother, he came home one evening and t told me that he find a friend mm -hmm. up by New Kingston. And that friend, he sings. He's the lead singer for Chantel's. And every day that friend sing and he like how he sing and so on. So he told that friend about me. So the friend said, okay, take the one and tell them and come and see me down by arm. Christian you can remember the name of the friend? The friend? Yeah. Sam, Samuel Bramwell. Okay. What was his name? He, he, he was from St. Thomas. Yeah. He is the lead singer for the group Chantelles. Okay. Lead singer. So from there you now, um, I get to um, My brother told me that he said to meet him on my Crescent Road. Mm -hmm. Well, I was living at um, Delamere Avenue. So I just step across the road. Step across Walton Park Road and go down by Crescent Road. Mm -hmm. Now I go down Crescent Road, now I saw him. My brother Dennis was there with me also. Mm -hmm. We saw him and I saw the rest of the crew members, them, the two guys. Yeah, from the group? From the group. And they was doing the rehearsal because they always have the box guitar they play. Mm -hmm. And they sing for a while and then they said to me, say, you will come in now with what stuff you have to hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I came in with shine my girl, she's a trouble to a man. And they also love it off. Mm -hmm. So after they love it off you now, um, the um, group leader, yeah. group leader, his, his name is Tommy. He, he told me that he have a tape in front of the one of us. Mm -hmm. He have a tape, I don't remember if it's 16 track or what, but he have a tape so he would record this song with me on the tape. Mm -hmm. They sing for the for um, right Ezra Francis, the man who won the mixing laps. Mm -hmm. you know? So what he do now? After me do Shine Eye Girl now. And all this was happening in, in, in May? Yes. Okay, go on. We do Shine Eye Girl now. After I do it now, they, we did a Channel One studio. Mm -hmm. So after we did a Channel One studio, they take it now to King Toby's now to mm -hmm. do the fixtures on it now. You know? Mm -hmm. Like mix it down or whatever. And King Toby do all of that. So um, he give it now, he give the song now to his producer now who own mixing lab that is right, Ezra Francis. Mm -hmm. He give him to deal with it for him because Chura is the one who move along more often time to England and just kiss the way he knows the business mm -hmm. and they sing for him. Yeah. They, he give the tape to Rai mm -hmm. to deal with it for him. So I take it to London now, right? Sold it out and I bring back someone to come and give to him. He didn't give her nothing. Never no, gave anything. No, I didn't get nothing. And up to this day, you haven't got anything. Up to this any. day, I check him, I don't get nothing from him. He used to work up by um, yeah, the young pharmacy years ago. Anyway, back, let's go back a little bit about the song. What, what inspired you to sing that song? Or where did you get the idea about of singing the song? Okay, because of girls. I was talking to a girl, you know what I mean, and she wasn't functioning in the proper way at all. So yeah. I just said, China girl is a trouble to a man, you know? Okay. And I go and come from a woman who was part of One of your partner? 
you get it, man. Cause like she going on like she want to take me for a trip to the or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't like that either. She so want to take the make it, take the piece out of you. Yeah. So I just sit back and relax, man. Concentrate on your the inspiration, the inspiration of the song come to you. Yes. Then no. Then no. While I was doing that song was by um, Channel One Studio. Mm-hmm. This guy, Black Hole Group, they step inside. Because in studio, you know, artists come in. Yeah. And if you have a good tune going, they will listen to it and they like it. And yeah. Yeah, they do the patterning of it. So, Black Hole were there. So, I was shot, I was up to stand in the front of a beer box to catch the eye. Because um, Channel One might come from here, mm-hmm. come down. So, you either have to stay like this, you have to sing up. Yeah. It's not the type of mic when you sing them like so. Mm-hmm. Like I am, that's yeah. mix up. It's not those type of mic. It's the one up here. Yeah. So when you sing, sing and reach a certain soul, you have to take a deep breath. If you get back there again, mm-hmm. and do your thing, you know? For, yeah, you'll fall up your neck. Yeah, I didn't know if you'll find it as a big problem still, but uh, I do what I can do. Because, you know, I'm young and I want to have a music as a road also, you yeah. know, so I will try to do the thing for you. Yeah, so and you have to stand up on a box, beer box? Yes, they let me stand in on a beer box to reach the mic. Mm-hmm. And so Black Hole now, he come inside one of them and he was watching me. He must be the one who named Michael Rose. He was watching me, did what I'm doing. So mm-hmm. From there, they just come up with the idea that you see him here. I was even practicing some of the time with this group, the mom, meditation. Mm-hmm. We do this song. A woman is like a shadow. Mm-hmm. A man is like an arrow. Mm-hmm. I used to pray with them because I didn't know um, who. Sonny, Sonites, and um, Danny, and so. Sonites is the first one I know. Somebody introduced me to him, I'm from there. He mm-hmm. likes me and I like him too, so we become friends. So anyway, they were racing more time, more time and be with them. They were racing down by a majestic pen, mm-hmm. you know, over some night swim. Mm-hmm. That's in front, in front of the market, the market on this side. Yeah. On the left hand side and they're living on the right hand side. Which market is that? Coronation market? No, it's not, I don't remember that market name. But after you pass from um, three mile runabout, going uh-huh. down. Yeah. You, you know the place that they come back to? That's okay. the community? Yeah. Really right in that region there. Mm-hmm. So, used to move around with the meditation. Because they like me as well. Right? They like how we sing. Mm-hmm. The more time when they run them, like I try to feel it. So, have you done any other song? Other songs? Like, um, Trust Not Shut After Dark. I did that song, you know, that one. Mm-hmm. And I do another one by the name of um, Earth. Running, that was for the same producer who I do, Shut After Dark. Right? Mm-hmm. That producer gave me Helen, and that producer, guess what? He's my family. Mm-hmm. He's his free right materials. Mm-hmm. He's my family, you know. And he just fucked me up like that. Mm-hmm. They should have to that for him, man. Mm-hmm. Money, no money. <laughs> so, what the latest, what the latest have you, you hear about your song? Have you hear anything? Have you hear your song being sold? Have you anybody contact you about your song? Which one? Um, Any one of them? Okay, um, well I have um, Shadow of the Dark, it's going on now, um, this company control, what the name, um, Jamwax. Mm-hmm. Jamwax giving me that one. But the um, Shine Eye Girl now, just leave like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Until I find someone to help me solve that problem. Okay, so basically you haven't got no money whatsoever of, of them songs that you have done? Well, I get some money from Jamwax the other day. Okay. For for Shine Eye Girl or for Shadow of the Dark. For Shadow of the Dark. Two different producers, yes. Okay. This is Sh- um, Shadow of the Dark is my own family. Yeah. Feel like Matthias. He's mm-hmm. the one who tried to mess me up on it. But Father God said, no, this is a good song and I have to have something. So, mm-hmm. I mean, he set up a way for me to achieve something. Mm-hmm. Right away, I have, I have my songs, the man. There's a white man who plays songs in every day. He used to every Wednesday night and guy we had here, Enrico. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or Draper's community. Yeah. Right? I mean, one night I hear him was playing some and it was a Wednesday night and I just go home and lie down for a while. And someone was mounting me before. Mm-hmm. 
you know a song, I drink and jump. <laughs> he was more to me a poet say, sing a song from this dub what playing here now in the bar now in the rhythm and I said no I cannot do it now. He said, you know good artist, then you're already you're supposed to can do your thing and I say, listen to me, you don't know inside of me how me you feel inside. Mm-hmm. You don't know my problem right now. So I tell him about singing me then that right now. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. I'm I leave it and go away. Yeah. So I'm going to leave go away and I pass the white man now I'm doing his vintage music, playing vintage song. Mm-hmm. So I go home and take off my clothes, put on my pyjama, lying down. And it's like my mind is bothering me. I tell me, say, take up your record the most. Oh, uh, you come back what you have them into and go back up the street here and ask that white man to play it for you. Mm-hmm. And I just get up and I do that, wipe up your record them, take them out here to you, man. I said, um, mm-hmm. like I said, I... Enrico. I didn't even know him at the time. I said, Bridget, good evening. I said, good evening. So can you play this song for me? He said, sure, I can. Yeah. Is you sing them? And yeah. before I even said yes, so the people in the community jump up and say, yes, I never had sing them. Yeah. <laughs> and one white lady was there by the name of Tika also. Tika said, there's one lion. I said, yes, mm-hmm. Tika. Is it shy night girl you have into that little package here? He said, oh, yes, I have it. Okay. And I also should have said that. And he, she and Buggy up was drinking. You know that man was that grey beard like himself. Mm-hmm. They were drinking together. And Buggy up said to Tika, said, Tika, um, they were letting you do songs? And Tika said, Of course, so we are you. So we have to say. To hear t- they were letting have a nice song when I used to love it. So we have to say, after all what happened to your song now, because it almost finished, the time is running out. So we have to say about the whole thing that happened to your song. Well, I mean. Just a life we are living on and I try to make songs to achieve something, you know, to make myself better in life. And yeah. I mean, I tried and people disappoint me on the highway, but no, I mean, I'm still achieving something now yeah. because of Enrico, okay. the white man. So I give thanks to Enrico because he's okay. the one who make this happen right now, that jam wax could really. Yeah. Can't you Time was finished. Mm-hmm. About five seconds. So, so big up to the world right now. Heal up on yourself. Live on my hand. Okay. So big up. Yes. Bye. <laughs>